can't see him. Adjusting the amplitude, voltage, same thing. That's the range. It does this weird kind of oscillation thing. Let me stabilize it, adjust the frequency a little bit. It's on the 30 volt scale. The way this works is uh, for voltage, anything that ends in a 1, you read on that top scale there. I guess it's the middle scale because there's also the decibel scale. Um, anything that ends in a 1 you read on that middle scale for volts anything any of the voltage ranges that ends in a 3 you read on the I guess it's the 0.8 to 3 scale and of course anything in the DB ranges you read on the top DB scale quite straightforward very easy to read let's see what happens when we change frequency we'll just spin the dial over here I can't believe this thing's not wanting to focus See the output amplitude doesn't really change much with frequency. It does that weird thing where it causes the needle to wiggle, but there's times one hundred, times one thousand, times ten thousand. Whoa. Well, the times a thousand you can actually hear it. And even though we're changing frequency, the amplitude does not change. Well, maybe a little. Last night I had the meter swinging really good. It does that. If anybody knows what would cause an old, uh, I think it's a wine bridge oscillator in this thing, what would cause its amplitude to vary? Uh, maybe because I have it at a low, such a low frequency that it's this VTVM's just, you know track in the waveform. I don't know, I'd be interested to know. And it looks like this video's run over my little camera's ability to record in one length, so looks like I am gonna have to do some kind of YouTube video editing. Great, I'm not looking forward to that. But I hope you enjoyed this video of the uh, Model 400L Hewlett Packard vacuum tube voltmeter. I'm very excited to have this as part of my bench. As you can see, change the layout a little bit. Got another carpet square. And I hope you stay tuned for more videos as I'm, as I've said before, I try to make them as uh, quick as I can come up with stuff to film. If you have any little projects, oh yeah, 
major tease for something new and upcoming. Hang on. Get this box of spare components on the way. We're going to start making radios and repeaters do all kinds of neat stuff here very shortly. So stay tuned for communications grade Arduino projects. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a super awesome day.